We sit here at the technical bench as uh, you arrange the questions. And I'll ask, ask some questions here with the coach of the Desert Roses. First of all, let me ask the name Desert Roses. Where did it come from? Uh, the name we, I, I was a former player mm -hmm. for the team and we decided that we needed a name for the team. And we, uh, we realized that in a desert, it's very rare to find a rose. True. So it, uh, by then, there were very few football uh, ladies. Very many, very few players, uh, women were playing football. So we decided, I mean, this is a rare, you know, a rare career for a woman. So we decided, why can't we then name the team Desert Roses? Who conceptualized it? Was it yourself or was it uh, the, uh, the players? The players. That's yes. It. Okay. That's yes, nice. The players. So how's it been uh, since you used to play and currently? Because I know they are currently, uh, I think, uh, the top of the Nairobi Conference in the universities. And second best, uh, second best nationally after Masinde Muliro University. Okay. Yes. Okay. So how's the season been generally? Uh, the season has been good. In Nairobi uh, Conference, we finished unbeaten and uh, we scored so many goals. So I think uh, the season has been good for us as a team. Okay. Yes. I'm sure you've been watching the World Cup um, as Michael Kenyon finalizes uh, the, the questions for Quickfire. What are some of the teams that have stood out for you so far? African teams, yesterday's loss, uh, Nigeria's loss against Argentina, the hopes now are firmly hinged on Senegal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We uh, very much need a win for Senegal as Africa, so we really hope that they'll be, they'll, they'll be up to task today and, and, and win the match. But uh, for me, I love speed so much, and uh, Mexico has stood out for me so far. <laughs> the Swedish fans are not happy. <laughs> 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 they have two Kenyans somehow. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're players with Kenyan roots. <laughs> yeah, but I know, I know. But uh, <laughs> Mexico for me, I will, I will root for Mexico. Okay. Yes. So you think they can go the full length? Yes, I think so. But this World Cup has been a lot of surprises. Um, most people have expected some of the so-called big teams to perform by expectation. Uh, looking at the round of 16 that begins this weekend, some of the pairings. Uh, aside from, uh, from the team you've mentioned, which other team do you think can actually go until the final? Uh, I'm looking at uh, Uruguay. I, I, I don't know, but wow. they, they've stood out for me. I think the first fan we've had who is an Uruguayan fan. Uruguay, and remember, only team not to concede so far. Only team not to concede. They are playing against um, uh, Portugal in the round of 16. Nil nil, 90 minutes, Uruguay out on penalties. Wow. That's Mike Okinu's prediction. What's your prediction? Uh, I'm looking at uh, Uruguay in the finals. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they'll get there. And uh, probably Mexico if, 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 if they don't meet in the, in the knockout stages. Okay. Yes. Luis Suarez, have he, has he impressed you so far in the tournament? Uh, not so much, but I think he will, he will, he will, he will improve. He will improve game by game. Um, I'm hoping that he will give his best. So far, I've, I've not seen uh, so much of him like the Suarez we all know. Okay. But I'm hoping that he'll be, he'll be able to give us the, the Suarez that we know. Okay.